Alright, this is Wacko Bob. I'm back here finally with another uh, new commentary. This is going to be one of two commentaries I do. The second one is going to have to do with somebody else who does have a YouTube account here and is a former partner of mine. And I'm going to go through a lot of things involving him and something you're going to be able to hear on a special New Year's Day edition of The Dark Match or The State of the Dark Match. It will be a private show. Only certain people will be allowed to go there. Some of you YouTube listeners, uh, if you want, I will uh, send the in the invite to the link for you guys to listen if you are interested. But uh, I'll go over that later on. Uh, I want to go over Kate, uh, the uh, the Casey Anthony saga and the story of the missing uh, body. Um, a lot has gone on, um, you know, with this, you know. And I've done a lot of shows uh, on uh, on uh, Casey Anthony. And uh, the missing, and uh, and the missing toddler who would be three years old right now. It, now it's showing more and more, you know, that uh, that uh, Kaylee, Anth that little Kaylee Anthony, is no longer with us. I'll use that term to get it across, for lack of a better word, that I'm afraid to use, I should say. And I gotta say that I think. I was listening to uh, an old show of mine, and one of my regular listeners, uh, who goes by Republican Chick, made a good point about something. You know, with the way the parents have been, you know, around this whole manner. And the parents were the first ones to report this whole manner, and even to report Casey. Now, my question here is, my question here is, how much is enough enough? First, you sw you you went and you swung back to Casey, Casey right away. Number one, because she lied about what she the, the daughter being with a babysitter and gave a bogus address that's not even existent. You're gonna go out and you're gonna defend your daughter. You know your daughter has problems with the law. She probably has problems taking care of herself. Now, as parents, you want to stick by your kids, but eventually you gotta sit there and say, enough is enough. You know, eventually you're going to sit there and you're going to ask. You know, I've seen a lot of parents sit there and do this with their own kids. Eventually they ask them, what is it you're doing wrong? Now, it is important to stick by your kids, but this person, Republican chick, on my show when I brought this up, brought up the fact that the grandparents could just as well, well be involved in this matter. And this much, I believe... I believe this wholeheartedly that the pos that the possibility is there that uh, she could have been uh, that you know the parents could be behind something and when you look at the fact that the body was found just uh, you know uh, that a, that a dead body the skeletons or remains of a body have been uh, found near her home and you look at everything that you get to hear on the news with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, Casey Anthony getting getting def all the defense in the world from her parents. Doesn't this make you think that they may possibly Im be involved in this? It's a lot to look at there. I'm not going to spend too much time uh, going over it, but when I heard Republican chick say that, I thought that could be true. Now, I wasn't agreeing wholeheartedly, but now when I look at this matter now, I realize she could have been right. You know, it's it, it's sad when you got to say something like that. You know, you know, and families have got to be put through the test like that to be likely suspects. But things are not adding up right. I do believe Casey had something to do with her daughter, with her daughter missing, if not getting killed. But who's to sit there and say the grandparents weren't behind it too? <coughs> and I mean Kaylee's grandparents, Casey's parents. You know, there's going to be a lot. Either way you look at it, you're looking at Casey and the parents possibly being accessories, in my opinion of it all. I hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. Anyways, thank you for the commentary. For those of you that are wondering how, why I sound like I do and why I'm not giving too much information right now, is because I got another thing on my mind, which I'm going to be doing a video on, which I'm going to be doing a video on uh, today as well, and I'm dealing with this cold. And the other issue has to do with uh, things personal, which will, has to do with my radio shows and someone that was involved in uh, one of them. And I'm going to go over that, and it's going to be interesting to check out, but I'm going to give you a teaser more so.
than anything else. But this is for someone who I did discover his YouTube who is a liar and he lies about who he is. So guess what? It's all up to you, Mr. James Young. You're already lying and trying to connive your way through something, but it ain't going to work. But anyways, thanks to all my loyal listeners out there who listen to my YouTubes, and uh, I'll be back uh, soon. You'll hear be hearing me with this lousy cold slash flu that's been bouncing around in me, which is another reason for uh, me sounding the way I do, but we'll talk more. All right.